Alright guys, so we are here just picking up some sandbags in this little warehouse. So we're gonna start with four, we're just testing things out. Literally just big old bags full of sand used for like construction work. Uh, what we're gonna do is get them, weigh them out, and uh, basically measure them into different sizes, so like 10, 20, 15 kilo size sandbags, and then uh, close them off and we can use them for all kinds of things like farmers carries, just gripping the bags, use them for like shoulder carries, all kinds of exciting stuff. So um, like I said in the last video, getting creative with what we use. So like all these kind of building places are perfect for picking up the kind of equipment I need. Let's have take a look at what they got. This is why it's good guys to kind of have a look around and uh, be open-minded with what you see because look what I just discovered. Look these sledgehammers. I'm gonna buy me one of these sledgehammers and it wasn't on the initial equipment list but it is now. We're getting a freaking sledgehammer and we're gonna go hit some tires with it. But I need to find some tires first which is proven to be kind of a challenge. So once I find some car tires, we're gonna be sledgehammering some tires, boys and girls. So that's something to get excited about. 30 ringgit for a sledgehammer, that's like six pounds. I'll take that. Okay. I see one tire, we found one. Entering all that nasty water out of the tire. <laughs> Lovely. It's quite dirty. It's quite dirty, yeah. It's okay. There's still some on there. There's still some in there. Do you have a uh, hose I can just spray, like water? Pause. Yeah, Pause. just just to spray the water before I put in the car. Oh, okay. okay, thank you. There he goes. Okay, maybe I get six six bags. Can we fit in the car? Make it four first. Okay, I get four four bags then. Four bags first. Four bags first. Thank you. My dude getting me some sand in a bag. All right, so we're heading back now. Successful trip, very successful trip. A little bit dirty, but that's fine. You gotta get your hands dirty for what you want sometimes. So we got, how many, four sandbags today. Four sandbags, which I'm gonna go back and weigh up to a couple different weights and then tie them up. And we also got a bonus tire for free, which wasn't expected, but that's nice. We got one free tire and we got ourselves that little sledgehammer chilling back there so that's great I didn't even think about sledgehammers and uh, that's why it's great to kind of actually walk around there yourself have a look at what they got and like I said spark some inspiration so we've got sledgehammers we got a tire we got sandbags everything is looking great we're gonna go back make the equipment test some of the equipment out that I got yesterday we're making steps guys we're making steps in the right direction but first I need breakfast it's like 12 o'clock and I have not eaten anything so breakfast comes first Okay, so we just had a very successful trip down to the hardware store, literally just at the bottom of my road. So we've been going to like four different hardware stores all over the island, and we didn't even think to check the little hardware store on my road. So we went there, and it was pretty much the most successful trip we've had so far, except for the fact that I forgot to film it, but hey-ho. So what we did is we got some, we went there for zip ties and for duct tape, which I couldn't find anywhere for some reason. We found duct tape, we found zip ties, not only that we found some clips, um, some big clips for the little wooden sticks. Uh, we also found chain as well which I was struggling to find. So the only thing we couldn't find was rope, like some thick enough rope so um, we're going to have to keep searching for that. But at the moment we got chains, chains were kind of expensive so I only got 10 kilos worth of chains uh, which should be fine for the moment. Uh, we've got the clips to attach the chains and we've got zip ties and we've got duct tape so it's been a very successful trip albeit unexpected but it's all good so we are going to go test out what we just bought and i'll see you there all right guys hope you can see me sorry i look like shit. this is what i was talking about with the chains do this so you get one on one side and you can get the same thing on the other side and then all of a sudden you've got this bar which you can use. See, so you can do one side, this is five kilos on one side at the moment. You can do one-sided presses. You can put chains on the other side, do two-sided presses. 
of course you can do other things, you can do like basically anything you can do with a regular barbell you can now do with these chains and this and it just makes it a bit unstable, the chains are wobbling around makes the exercise extra challenging I'm going to test one other thing so I'll be right back alright guys so let me show you what I just done So one of these chains weighs five kilos. So what you can do to give yourself some variety with the weight, if you're strong enough and you wanna lift the whole 10 kilos, you get one chain hanging on one side like I showed you earlier, and then you just do the same thing on the other side. However, if you wanna grab a lighter bar, you can use one five kilo chain and attach it from one end to the other end, just like I've done here. So this is just one chain one 5 kg chain on this bar so that way you can have a 5 kilo bar evenly weighted either side or if you want you can attach one whole chain to either side and get a 10 kilo bar so very flexible you can do all of this you can do your rows lots of stuff you can do here with these chains and like I said, the fact that the chains are wobbling around makes it imbalanced, makes it a great way to work out. So literally just by having the equipment here, I'm coming up with all kinds of ideas, different exercises you can do. I mean, there's a lot of versatility with the type of equipment we're using here. Um, it's just chains, it's just buckets, it's just sandbags and sticks and little poles. You can do a lot with it. So for example, single arm chain press. This is five kilos here. Uh, you can always grab both chains in your hands if you've got big enough hands. Look at that. Just like a shoulder press. Single arm, overhead, chain press. So much stuff you can do, guys. Just get creative, which is what I love about this. Just gotta get creative with what you do and the possibilities are pretty much endless. So yeah. I'm sweating out, I'm gonna go grab some lunch right now and then hit the gym. We will continue this another time. See you later. So I was in the car telling my little bro what I just got for the uh, boot camp. So hear this out, so um, you know I just got chains, I just got duct tape and I just got zip ties. Now if you didn't know I was making a boot camp you might be mistaken for thinking that I was going to kidnap someone. Yeah, that's what they mentioned to me. I didn't really think about that, but now that I think about it, chains, zip ties, and duct tape. Perfect for if I need to ever kidnap anybody. So, yeah, if the boot camp doesn't work out, I might start holding people up for ransom. Just another option. See? Getting creative, guys, with the use of the equipment. Endless possibilities with what you can do. But on a serious note, I'm not planning on kidnapping anyone. Don't you worry. Not yet, anyway.